Hey y'all, I'm Gun Asylum, and here today I'm going to show you guys how to set up a simple Minecraft server with extra RAM. Now, this tutorial is for a Windows 7 computer, which you guys will be seeing through this screen right in front of me. However, I'm actually controlling this computer with my Windows XP computer, so just keep that in mind. Um, okay, so anyways, setting up a Minecraft server. Simple. Step 1. Bring up a window or a browser, type in minecraft.net, go to minecraft.net. Uh, click on download. Look at the bottom. We're going to look for the jar file, minecraftserver.jar, and you're going to want to save it. It doesn't. It, you can save it anywhere you want to save it. For me, I want to save it to the desktop for uh, right now. So, okay, so I saved it to the desktop. I'm going to close this. My bad. I forgot about that. Anyways, uh, click new. I'm going to pick make a new folder. Now, make sure you make a folder for your server because I'll show you why in a minute. So, I'm going to create, call this Minecraft server, uh, drag and drop, open up the folder. Now you should only have a jar file in here. Now what you want to do is you're going to click and you're going to open it. Give it a few seconds, let everything load. Da, 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 da. Yeah, on my right side, I'm, I'm using the task manager to keep an eye on the RAM. Uh, okay, so it's done. Now, it's going to take a few extra seconds. As you can see, it's populating the entire folder that we made, or we put this file in, and it's adding a bunch of extra stuff. Now, we're going to close this. Give it a second. It's going to, it takes a second to close. There. Now, once it's closed, you'll see it's got all these different files in it. It's got your world file, which is where you put your, uh, you know, the world you play in. Uh, your IPs, your ops, your etc. blah 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 blah. For now, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new file. What we're going to do is we're going to open up a new notepad file. And in it, we're going to paste this information. Now, the information I pasted right here is for a Windows 7 64-bit version. Now, I've, I've listed all three versions, but this is for the 64-bit 7 because this is what this operating system I'm running this off of will be running. Now, what this says, basically, is don't mind that. But uh, it's saying to run the Java and to run it at a gig, and that it's going to run this file using that. Now make sure that this is the name of the... Damn it. Why does it keep doing that? It's the name of the... Uh, right here, minecraft-underscore-server.jar. So you got to make sure it's that. Now we're going to click File, click Save As. Now, where is this located? That's not where I want to be. So I'm going to locate where I saved my information. I'm going to locate this. I'm going to name this run.bat and make sure that this says all files. And when I save it, I can go ahead and close this now. It should save it as a oops, as a bat file. Windows batch file. <clears throat> okay, now. Now what this will do is when I double click this to run it, it'll pop up. Da 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 Give it a second. Okay, so now it should be running a full gig of memory. Memory use 63, 95% free. Okay, so let's let's test this out. Direct connect 192.168.2.101. Join. And of course, I start under water. And the sticky keys are on. Shit. Okay. Oops. So, at this point, I should see a spike. Yep, I see a spike, because I joined. And on the right, yep, a little spike on the right, too. Okay, so that means I'm running my full amount that I should be running. Now, let's take a look and see what happens. We're going to close the server, and we're going to run it directly from the jar file. Now, as you can see, the number changed. Now, without running it from the uh, 1 gig, it's saying that I'm using the same amount of memory, but I only had 21% free. That's a big difference between 95%. So let's close this. Okay, so the next step we're going to take is to allow people to connect to your server from outside your home network. Now, people from your network can easily just type in the local IP address. But if they want to connect to it from outside, you're going to need to set up... Well, if you have a router, you're going to set up some uh, port forwarding. To do that, we're going to open up Windows... Er, Internet. 
Now, I have a link to this router. Yours might be different, which means you might do a little bit of Googling. 192.168.2.254, uh, application and gaming. Now, as you see, I already have mine set up. I named it MC, doesn't matter what you name it. Uh, 25565 is what I'm using. You can change this in the options for the Minecraft server if you need to change it. I didn't need to. So I named it this, named it that, set it to both, and this number is the port that my, or the Windows 7 computer is on. To find out what port that computer is on, you simply bring up your start menu, click run, or type run, and then click on the run program, type in CMD, click OK, this will pop up, type in IP config, and in here, as you see, the IPv4 address is uh, 101. So that's what I typed in here, and then you make sure you check mark enabled. Um, then, basically all you do is figure out what your, your actual IP address is, which is like look up online what is my IP, and it'll tell you what it is. And then just add that 25565 at the end of it, and people will be able to join your server. And I think that's everything. So you should be fine. Uh, if not, post comments below. Let me know what's going on. Let me know if this helped. If you need ex uh, more help, like I said, post comments. I'll see what I can do.